the question is, oh no, the leading question was who gives us the money? Who gives the brotherhood money to, 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 to do all these operations? And much as I was. Okay, yes, I was, I was in the room, in the very dark room, but I've always had that confidence of sometimes joking in the answer to some people. I asked the female man, but excuse me, how much is a piglet? Piglet? Does it need um, a foreign donor or any political head in this country to, 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 to give us money to buy a piglet for 50,000 or 40,000? So, uh, have you heard that we have constructed buildings in Kampala town, that, in Kampala city, that we now uh, raise the suspicion that we are funded, we have so much money? She banged the him and said, don't, don't look around with that, what is it? I said, excuse me, I sell my first copy, my first book, that's how we raise some very little money to have these demonstrations, um, our messages back. If, for example, these uh, people were dropped by a helicopter, then someone would be suspicious that maybe we have, we have big funders. It's actually, I didn't know what was happening, I just like to hear from him. I said, hmm, no man, you man, you don't know what you're doing. Maybe you think this is the ordinary police, people you fool around. I said, I have nothing to, because do you, you want me to lie to you? you want me to tell you the answers that you may, will please you, or you want to get the right answers? I said, okay. Uh, so, the second question was, was where uh, did you get the information that is in that book, uh, that, is, that is in, the, in the, my new book? And he said that, but through the book, some, I don't know how they go to the book. I say to have their uh, uh, old, um, um, some seven years old friend <coughs> that I shared some information with that I talked to, and gave me some of a few things that are in this book as well, in addition to my personal story. It's <coughs> banging the table and take no money or nothing. You cannot, you cannot destroy, you cannot, you cannot save something that has been existed for this long. It's, it's, uh, it's, uh, you know, you have nothing, you just you cannot be. You cannot be Jesus, you cannot be, you cannot be an angel, you cannot change the world as you see Uganda. You even would die, it is your family, your mom, and you just bury you, and the world will continue. Those are the words that uh, he said. Uh, bang the table. That's the film said those words of, you, uh, you don't know me, but for me, I know you, you can never see me. And if we met, you would never know me. You always read it with you. Dream that you know. You can't quit him, but that's what nothing to do. Then the third question was, what did we mean in that letter that we discussed? Because in that letter that we wrote to the parliament at that time, one of the six was dropped by, uh, by our members, was uh, that we would we would have resolved to go for a, civil, a, a temporary, a temporary civil disobedience to guarantee permanent civil obedience. That we can have resolved to go head on with them and demonstrate and do all mass mass mobilization and demonstration provided it us into permanent peace. They said, okay, so which measurement do you want to use? Hey, so you want to share us, you have guns, I say, say what? Lots of things you bang the the, 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 the ah. So let alone uh, I think my answers were not that satisfactory enough. So I don't know. So this man goes the way. As this is me. Every time this person will come into me to me, they would put some, I don't know. I'm still up now with certain of where I was kept and how that structure was. Because out of blue, you still have someone in that place, in, a, in that room. But it's too dark. I don't know whether they open somewhere and maybe like a tunnel. I just don't know. So later on, after he had gone, uh, they, 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 uh, they left me. So some other person wrote some um, something that later on of course after by feeling that like, to eat as you choose. It was tasting like posh or something and some food I should say. And that would move me. But I never got in any water. Anything. It was too cold. Too cold. And that is what so I was asked that two three times. Three times. So different question. The same question I do I cannot ascertain on whether it was the same voice. It was the same interrogator, I cannot ascertain. But the, uh, the first person was speaking in my language, the first person was, okay, he would, would interject with, uh, with my language, my real words, my language. Then uh, the second time... Which is? Nyankone, uh, uh, which is language from Western Uganda. Then he just went and he was like, you're betraying us, you're one of us, so what is this man that you're doing? You're being used. So funny, 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 I uh, think. So the second time, the person who asked me still would use a few words in my language again, some uh, mixed with Swahili and English. Uh, the third time, it was purely English. And that's what I did. So I did not know also how long. Some, uh, 
they would bring, I should say, I feel like sometimes they would bring something, I don't know, that push or something, some funny, weird, metallic, uh, like a dish, I don't know. And, but to save you life, I have to do something like that. I had never gotten any water because even when I was taken for hospital recently, as you all before watched, I had it dehydrated and I was put on the grip um, at, at the clinic. Uh, that is what I to remember. Then, after still some hours or some days, some two people came in, grabbed me, pushed me, and put, covered my, my, my face. Uh, one carried me by left and right. So there were two gentlemen, they pulled me, walked me out of where I was. Uh, the, uh, the next thing I had was, uh, was the car, the car open, like, uh, okay, like, someone is taking somewhere. The first person entered, they pushed me in the vehicle, the other, other one uh, uh, pushed the, uh, the certain block to the car, and the vehicle now uh, drove to where I don't know. Uh, it's not where I didn't know, where I didn't know. So after driving, because I'm a driver, so when, even when you, are, you close your eyes, you can feel that someone is overtaking. The vehicle is in some high gear or something, at least you can tell. Maybe it's reducing the speed like that. So after some good, 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 good hours. Stop. Don't stop. So they opened and pushed me out. They pushed me out. And the first person got out and this one who held my hand and pushed and pulled me as the other one who had made the left push me out and got and they pulled off their the stuff they had uh, tied me with. Oh, when they did so, uh, the person now in my language says, We are watching you, it's forever, that's the word, eh? It's forever, we are watching you or following you. We can always, we will always find you every anytime we will. So, um, what about any any physical disturbance, any beatings? Injections, anything like that, and I would sometimes I would feel uh, uh, because I will be I don't want to like anyone that I I saw something in the dark, some maybe some injection or something. Much as I would feel something is pierced like on me or feel something like on your, your feet like that, but I could not I cannot ascertain how, uh, whether it was an injection or anything. I would be lying, but uh, like uh, like the, the medics are telling me. But with the time, they will realize anything stupid that could have happened to me. Because, like, like for example, when I was brought back, I was feeling slightly, yeah, I was weak and all the ribs and these joints, the, the, the hip joints, the uh, hip bones, yeah, very painful, like, yeah, fucked up now, yeah, very painful and the ribs. But, like, a day after, now my head is well, because I pushed away, because, like, if you take this side, it's going to be it's not as equal as, as my left. It is real, it is different, but now it's trying to reduce after my after medication. So, How many that, days have you been on medication now? Uh, I, was, I, was, I was taken to the hospital on... Uh, today is Monday, I was in the hospital on Wednesday. I'm still on the medication up to now. But even tomorrow, I have issues with my back. Some joints uh, have issues. With, uh, I feel like they are dislocated with something. Three joints, basically three. Too much pain that I must stretch, 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 get a little bit. Uh, but tomorrow I'm going back to medication. So I cannot ascertain that I was injected. Neither can I say I was not because sometimes you hold me and you feel something like in your feet. I do not know whether. Uh, Somebody would like, hold uh, you? Because, yeah, they would. Yeah, like you. I don't know whether there is, uh, whether there is, whether there is anything like uh, that could have been here to somebody. Something like you know, feet, like you know, like that. Not fresh. I don't know. It's difficult to tell. So it's really yeah. difficult. Mm. Uh, when you get there, any side effects will know with the time. So when they dropped me, when the doctor they dropped me, uh, pushed me out of their car and put up the water, their hood, what they had uh, 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 tied me with, uh, that man said those words, it's forever. We are seeing you, we are watching you. Um, we, shall, we, can, we, we, can, we shall always, we can always reach you when we need you. I took some few minutes. Because they also stayed around, I do not know whether they wanted to prove that I can kind of stand on my own and, uh, yeah, and go for something. So, at that moment, I was waiting for either maybe someone can shoot me or that can, like, that can shoot me or anything. Nothing happened. And 
to... Did you see any details you know, regarding the vehicles, you know, regarding the... the vehicle, it's not... Gently, not even rushing or anything, because it's new. Uh, maybe uh, that's so we can... No, no, this is a double cabin. That's something at least I can remember. The double cabin. What, do you white know what color? color? White in color. White. With no... Yeah, but very old. Seems old, yeah. Like you can look at the really this red, which is these latest. With these latest models of double cabin. It didn't have a number plate. By back, it didn't have a number plate. Because that's what I made it. Okay? The, behind, like at the boot, like uh, the side, at the cabin. But I, uh, it's what? It's what? It's a number plate. It's fed off. And they took him by the way. Up there, like, like a tree up there, because that's the, the, the tomb where the, the Kasuvi royal tombs are. Eh? The Kasuvi royal tombs. Up there, another Kasuvi on top. I know that we could, we could even, if we, what we could even reach there, I'll show you. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I know that, I'll show you mm. where they dropped me. And that vehicle gently be blocked. Um, I'll show you still as we reach there, you'll see how the vehicle is blocked. And um, it was weak. And like I told you, there is a really they are too painful. And mm. at least they, okay, they, 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 these goons left me with my phone. Because I had my phone, my two phones. And one thousand shillings. I was already in my in my in the shop and the phone. However, later alone now, the following day, when okay, when I had okay, when I had uh, uh, gone borrowed to you know here another to reach home, we are using this because this is the shortcut. I'm not past here that night because I was weak and I never wanted. We are using this. Again. Oh, we're, we're passing yeah. on the shortcut. Yeah, we're using the shortcut. Okay. It, it is not where I passed when the when it is good. I use I use it. Uh, I was hearing this because it was too much, too much darkness. I could not this corridor. Sometimes you can find uh, a sad or something here and, uh, you know, and uh, I never wanted to risk it. So, mm -hmm. it more risk. So, later alone, when I had reached home, um, see now later the phone. When, uh, when I had reached home, I realized my phone had been flashed or something. This flashing. I did not have even a single photo. Not a single number. They had deleted your contact. Everything. Not even a single application like WhatsApp or Facebook or anything. Nothing. They had reset your phone maybe? Nothing. Nothing. That's why fuck even you yourself, you know, I told you I didn't have a number. I <laughs> we were chatting let alone. I didn't have a number. I don't have any person's number. Even my mom, my father, everyone. But that I realized it. Later alone, I realized that. So, you see, so they gave you your phone back when they dumped you. I was off. with them. Yes, I was with them okay. in my jeans. My mother. So, so did they allow you to wear your clothes when you were being detained? Yeah, I was putting on. I was putting on my clothes. Putting my clothes okay, beside the beside the shoes. So here. Oh, they took your shoes. Yeah, here. So now that's the thing right on. So when they double cut in fact here. So this is when where they dropped you off. Yes. Mm. Where, when this where exactly? Yes, here. But now, what made what made me realize? It was now later on when I realized that hey, I am closer to my home because now they block. That is the route. As you see, so that is the route. That is now the vehicle. So that means when we are coming, I want to suppose I was brought through this side. I want to suppose. And the vehicle parks here. This person, they, they opened the door, pushed me out, and uh, they now locked using that route down. What I was telling you that I avoided, the route was now too late at night. I could not use that, that shortcut for fear of any, uh, any thugs or something. So I also walked down to like, if I see second there, and now went back home. So, oh, here I was mm. thrown there. Uh, that's when the man said, we are watching you. Uh, we can always find you anytime we need you. And the vehicle left, and I saw, I didn't see the night because he was now put the other side and slopped with the bogat and slopped. Reaching home, I, uh, first from here I walked, took me some like 40 minutes, but this is like a short distance like I've seen. Took me like 40 minutes to slope down, then close to my home. So uh, when I reached home, I was struggling and uh, ensure that it was open for me, and they also feared to open the after they had seen me, so I, uh, whatever. When, after they had seen me sitting outside the, uh, that, that door, like you have seen my home, um, 
let alone they opened for me. Now my lady began calling every person that was that, that was closer, the Mayanjas or the Billy and others, my other friends. Remember my phone didn't have a battery. So when we began charging them in the morning, when I wanted now to call you to call the rest of my friends, at least uh, okay, at least to send the message or something, you know my wife or something, I don't have even a single number. Not even my mom, not even my dad, no one with the number. Application to WhatsApp was deleted, was flashed, um, Facebook, email, everything. Everything. My phone was as if it just knew. In fact, it is yesterday, but when my anger, no, on Friday, my anger, I took it to, I guess my took it to, 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 to install all the applications. I don't know what they did with the contacts, whether they copied them or what, I don't know. That is what happened uh, between, uh, in my one week feeding up. Uh, so, so let alone when I went to the hospital, I was had dehydrated. I had they called it vessel, uh, vessel, uh, some some word. Man, I think they remember the word that they said. Rupture. Yeah. Vessel yeah. uh, rupture. So, yes. Vessel rupture. Yeah. Vessel rupture. On this right side, like I so he was saying that it is what could have caused that. But I was hit by something, but. It did not go direct to the my skull or something, but at least I was hit. So it, like this vessel gets shocked or something, and like that, that's the experience of the doctor. Uh, my sight up now, when I I, I don't blink too fast, uh, I, tears begin to roll uh, in my eyes. And uh, the doctor, like you will see the medical report, home, which is home. That because of, of us, of, I, I was sprayed indeed, I was sprayed in the eyes, sprayed in the, uh, the eye doctor. At wh when were you sprayed in the eyes? When you were in the room, or...? I suppose when I was in the room. Yeah, he was in the room. Then, uh, that's, in fact, in my medical report, we found some chemicals, some, some chemicals, something in my eyes. Uh, and I'm supposed to go back again for re-examination. Um, I think, yeah, for now, that's what I suppose.